Hi you guys, I'm here to show you a tutorial to configure the Windows Media Center because I see a lot of people don't know how to use it so let's go to the steps and what you come to need. You need a PC running the Windows Media Center. First going in configurations. I mean Go in computers, Windows Media Center, disconnect if already connected and get some errors. Disconnect from the Windows Media Center. After it, you open it again, press setup, continue, continue, and he will give some codes that you need to use in the computer. After this, you go new computer. He will maybe sometimes he start the program which out he wanted. So you wait a few seconds, like six or ten seconds, before you go new computer because he will give another number if that happened. See, he changed the number. After he changed the number, you write the numbers and go in your computer to change when your computer you open the Windows Media Center go in the the last option after the TV option configurations open the extender and if you already have an Xbox you don't have to press age extender here you add a new extender and you put a number like this to the next step and put the number that he gives you if you already uh, don't have already have here uh, in your extender windows media center but got some errors you open here reconfiguration next step put the number and click the next step until he complete the configuration of the extender xbox 360 after this you can close your program or let him open it in your desktop that don't matter what you do so I'm closing him. After this, you go back to your Xbox 36, and maybe he already opened in the TV, the Windows Media Center, if he already finished. And you can go and see moves. You can make. You can go in the upgrade the wireless, so you can we use the things more fast and have a better quality of videos. You can see a TV. You can see movies. You can see music and the stuff like the radio and cookies. You can go in photos and videos and see like here uh, photos and in, in bibliotheque. After this, you go to if you don't want to see the movies in the Windows Media Center, you go back to the Xbox dashboard and go in applications, my applications and open the player video video player select your computer that he show up your username and you go in the folder that have the movies that you want to watch like uh, I will choose the Austin Powers one press play and you can see the movies and like uh, if you use the upgrade the quality of wireless you will have a better quality of videos like you can see in HD in the normal one but everything, everything depends on your wireless connection because that will give the best performance to your videos and movies and music and that stuff you see, you can see everything normal, so I hope you guys like this video and help you to configure the standard. So, see you next video, guys.